In this snippet, I answer a question from Quintus Williams that asked me about the type of instruments that you could actually buy to use at home or wherever you are to measure radiation. Now, this question is a follow-on from the other two snippets that I did, which covered radiation sickness, what causes it, and then radiation sickness itself. And it's a very good question. Many people don't know that you can actually purchase equipment that you can use to actually measure radiation. So this video won't be very long, and that is why it's a snippet, and I'll explain to you quickly the pitfalls that you have to look out for if you actually want to order or actually purchase a piece of equipment like this. Because the best way for you to do this is to do it online and order it from overseas. But you have to get the right thing. And what you need to get is a Geiger counter. Now, if you Google Geiger counter, many things will come up that is anything but a Geiger counter. What a Geiger counter must be able to do is measure alpha, beta, and gamma radiation. All three of those you want. You can, for in instance, go to a scrap heap somewhere, and there could be radioactive material there. Someone could have dumped a radioactive source there. And there are incidents within the world where this has actually happened and many people have died or actually gotten sick because of a small little radioactive source that is used for radiography where you actually check steel pipes to see if they, their welds are actually done good enough. And those are connected to what they call a pigtail. I will do a specific video on that for you, which will also be a snippet. But the stories I will cover in detail with uh, specifically with regards to many episodes, one of them in South America, where an entire community actually got contaminated with a radioactive substance that doesn't come from a, a nuclear power station or from a nuclear weapon, but is actually used in industry quite often, and many people aren't aware of this. So for those of you that actually want to have instruments that can detect radiation, remember, you need to purchase a Geiger counter. Now, when I quickly Google this, and I've done this before, you get digital LCD electromagnetic measurement. Now, to measure electromagnetism has got nothing to do with measuring alpha, beta, and gamma radiation. You actually need a scintillation tube inside this instrument to be able to measure that kind of radiation. So, this is not the kind of thing that you put around electrical cabling to see if there's actual flux because of electrical current to uh, test points to see if they dead, electrically dead or not. This is not what it is, it's something completely different. So don't be fooled by the things that, that come up and most of those are EMF detectors. And this is where people get confused with regards to 5G radiation and all other electromagnetic radiation and ionizing radiation. So ionizing radiation is very, very different. And this is where alpha, beta, and gamma radiation come in. And alpha and beta particles can actually cause damage to you. Alpha particles will not go through your skin and hurt you, but beta particles certainly can penetrate the skin and can influence you. Gamma can penetrate deep into your body and damage you badly. So when you buy one of these detectors, make sure that it's a handheld Geiger counter, make sure it can detect alpha, beta, and gamma radiation. Alpha and beta on its own is not good enough because some of them can only detect alpha and beta. Make sure that it can um, handle high enough energies to detect gamma as well, okay? And gamma radiation, because it can cause some of the, the, the worst um, effects of radiation outside of neutrons is very important that it's included in, in the instrument. Now these instruments typically won't be cheap. Also be careful, some of the things they sell are, for instance, um, the bag that this detector goes in and the bag goes for 700 Rand. So you might think that you're getting the detector worth. Be careful what you look out for. Do your research. Some of them you might purchase from local companies and actually go to the company, write them an email, phone them, and then order the, the detector from them and make sure that you're getting the right thing. But they are certainly available. This little wick here on this normal camping light is radioactive. You would not be able to remove this from the Kubik site. That is how radioactive this is. So we have radiation all around us. I thank you till the next video.